and welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, your host. In this episode, I'll be talking about the return of Lugia, which of course happens later today into Pokemon Go. And I'm joined by my good pal DX1, who's behind me. I'm here at Broad and Walnut with Julian, of course. And, we're, and you see right here, City Hall, Philadelphia City Hall. For this clip here, I had to keep very quiet as Julian was recording him catching Nose Pass for his video. I still had a blast, and I also caught that very same Nose Pass just like he did. Okay, we're at City Hall, and soon, possibly, the first Philadelphia Lugia raid might start here. And I'll let you know if I catch this one along with. DX1 himself. Stay tuned. Well, everyone, the raid that just spawned at City Hall moments ago was a Rayquaza. But we have plenty of time to catch Lugia again. Hopefully, I'll be out here tomorrow to catch Lugia with my friends and record the first time I do a Lugia raid. Stay tuned. I have some news in regards to Pokemon Go. One, my good friend Pokemon Master Holly was given footage by Niantic confirming the new move for Bulbasaur's evolution, Venusaur, on Community Day, and it will be Frenzy Plant. I caught two Lugia on St. Patrick's Day. It took three times to catch my second one like it did my first, and I got it on my first throw and my first ball. Now my second one of the day, which was my third, it took a number of times, but in the end, I did walk away with it. My second Lugia turned out to be an 87%, much better than my first one. Well, we got a huge crowd here, and soon we will be doing this raid. And some people who I've met in this group has so far caught shiny Lugia as it's already been confirmed. I can't wait to see if I get one. If not, hopefully a near perfect one or a perfect one. Either way, this raid's gonna be a lot of fun even if I fail to catch the Pokemon. Well, I just failed to catch my second Lugia and it wasn't a shiny though. On to the next raid. So far, no shinies and 0 for 2 today in Lugia Raids. We're about to start this third one. Stay tuned if I finally am successful if I get it. Well, I finally did it. I finally caught my second Lugia ever. Took three tries just like the last time and it is 87%. This just in, a video from Fellow Pokemon Go YouTuber Jay Pezzi has confirmed that we are definitely getting Shiny Bulbasaur. My apologies for what I said earlier, but Holly's statement about Frenzy Plant has been officially confirmed, however. And Julian, my pal DX1, has also confirmed that during this 2K egg hatching event that we're getting Shiny Togepi, Magby, and others, including Wobbuffet. I'm here at 18th and Arch, hoping to not only catch my fifth Lugia, but also hopefully my first shiny one as well. Stay tuned as we wait for more people to join us in this raid. Okay, there's a raid over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to the And we just are joined by my good friend, Pokemon Master Holly. Hi. Finally, the Love Set Park statue is back where it belongs, at last. Well, everyone, I caught two Lugia, no shiny. I just failed to catch a third one for today, but that's okay. There's always tomorrow. I got plenty of raid passes, and Community Day is going to be hype. In the words of Sinbad, it's going to be Litty Sauce. Well, I just caught my third Lugia for the day. AKA my sixth Lugia, but still no shiny. I will continue my search tomorrow and at community day. 
In the meantime, it was also great to see Pokemon Master Holly again. I can't believe I got to see my friend Holly. It had been two months since I last saw her. And of course, you know she will be in Kansas City during this community day. Now, I'm on my way down to the art museum to join the likes of DX1 and Sinbad for community day. Find some friends. We got more Bulbasaur. Shiny check. Not a shiny. And there's my man Addison, aka Sinbad. We finally find Addison. Bulbasaur just went for me. And let's try this one. Cynthia. Hey, what's going and we on? got my and we got my good friend Cynthia oh, here. You know I work here. For SEPTA, what do you do yeah, at SEPTA? I do them. Oh, you do you do the you do the key cards? Yeah, yeah. Addison, hey, AKA going? Sinbad. I was at Beneath the Sea in Secaucus yesterday. I was able to catch some Pokemon there. Nice, nice. But of course, I got to try out. I got to do a little try school, which I did for my upcoming video. Oh, really? Yep. And we finally meet Evan, who, who I happen to see a lot in Addison and Julian's live streams. And he's also now part of my mod team, too. Might see me in the live stream and of too. course, St. Nick, a.k.a. Nick Orlando, also known as Nicky Zero M in Pokemon Go. Great. One of my best friends. <laughs> We're on our way to get a 100% Bulbasaur. Hey, Bridget, and we got Bridget over here, my good friend. Jess couldn't make it. Nah. Sorry, and I got a shiny. And we got our first shiny over here. It is Litchi Sauce. One, two. We wrap up this March 2018 Community Day with a traditional Philly Pogo United contest. And the winners of the contest who found the most Pokemon trading card game cards around the art museum won trading card packs as given to them by Addison who also gave out wristbands from the respective teams, Valor, Mystic, and Instinct. And well, my final total of shiny Bulbasaur I caught was five, including that rare 100%. And of course, I'll never forget this experience of meeting people like Evan, just near of you, and his mother Tara. I had a blast with, with him, Nick, Addison, Bobby, Elizabeth, as well as Jess, who came at the last minute. And of course, Nate, a.k.a. Sega Nate. So far, I've caught five shinies. My friend Jess caught two and no shiny Lugia. But I'll still continue and probably talk about that in, in another video. In the meantime, this event has been great and so has the return of Lugia. Go catch Lugia while you still can until April 2nd. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content 
to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!